Hi everyone, I'm Megan Benanti. Thanks for joining me today. And this is Rise and Shine, readings for your evolution. So today we're gonna answer the question, uh, what are we gonna answer? What is blocking me in this moment? Sorry, <laughs> you get a little nervous and you get a little brain fog. Um, so let's take a look at what's blocking you in this moment. First, we're gonna pick our charms. I'm gonna pull out three, you select one. Okay, so we have a five pound bag of sugar. All right, that's fun. We have a helmet, a knight's helmet. So in case you're needing to protect your head as opposed to something sweet. And we have a little boy with a baseball bat. So you pick either the sugar, the helmet, or the baseball bat, and that reading will apply to you. I'm gonna read for the sugar first, and we're gonna take a look and see what is gonna help you through this moment and time. And don't worry if you find this reading and it seems like it's out of date, it's gonna apply to you in the moment that you need it. That is the magic of Tarot. We always get the message that we need right at the just the right time. So, all right, sugar people. Um, okay, so um, <laughs> what's blocking you in the moment? Well, it's a man. And um, you've got King of Wands here and he is handsome and debonair. Um, and he's also got a big old gate behind him. So there's no moving past him. And so as sweet as you are on him or as sweet as he is, there's something there that you need to deal with. And maybe it's, maybe it's the relationship needs to be opened up a little bit. And I'm not saying you need to share him with other people, but maybe you need more flexibility and um, in that relationship. And um, oh, also what you need to be aware of, we also have a, a king of coins. So you've got, you've got two gentlemen here. Um, what do you want to do about this? Um, maybe you love one, you're attracted to another, that happens, but you still have a decision you can make. It doesn't mean that you have to follow through. Um, you're always going to be attracted to people in your life that comes and goes um, but you have to you have choices to make about what you really want and so you know decide a flirtation can be just that it doesn't have to go anywhere but if you keep going down the rabbit hole it's gonna spin out of control or it can um, so you know set your boundaries and be conscientious um, about what's best for you now, how can you remove this? I've got two of coins. So you're choosing between the two. Holy cow, two men, all right. Um, and uh, you know, they're different guys. Do you want fire and enthusiasm or do you want stability, like financial stability and more of a family man? Both are good. Um, and you know, and don't get me wrong, a king of wands can also be financially stable. Um, you just have to decide where your focus is and what qualities you really want in your partnership. Um, and once you kind of decide and choose this, then you're gonna be able to move forward. And I've got 10 of wands here, and he's way less laborious than in some of the decks. So he's just kind of trucking along, he's got his wands on his back, um, and he's coming to the end of the goal. So, you know, choose the one that really lets you sing, that allows you to feel open-hearted with, that you feel that you want to look at in 40, 50 years. Um, he doesn't have to be the, uh, you know, he doesn't have to be perfect in every way, but he needs to just generally be can I really be with this person 20 years from now? You gotta feel good about that. So, okay, so that's our sugar people. Let's look at the block that we need to remove for the people with the helmet. And this is a knight's helmet, so it's definitely protection. Most of the face is protected. So you're being very cautious. And, and it also means, you know, you're covering your head. So you're thinking about 
you know, what you need to let in, what you need to let go, you're processing, but you're processing very carefully. Okay, helmet heads. So, your block is feeling weak right now and really struggling to feel like you can overcome things. Um, and I know this is, it's painful and I feel like you're kind of shutting down. Um, and it almost feels like you don't even feel like yourself right now, which is not fun. So the other thing you need to be aware of though, is that if, if you were hoping for an opportunity or, um, or financial assistance, it's really not coming in at the moment. Um, that energy is kind of on hold. So you're going to have to continue to navigate this without an extra helping hand, whatever that is that you are needing help on. Um, now to remove it though, um, you're, this is going to require some patience for you. Um, it, because I'm not sure that the block can actually be removed. It's like it needs to fade out or phase out in some way. And so um, when we look at this Knight of Wands in reverse, um, I want you to hold back and be patient and know that this isn't one that you have to control. Um, you just have to wait it out. Now, what can you expect once that removes? Um, You're, you know what, you're really in a rock and a hard place because I feel like you're not finding anything positive to look forward to. And I want you to kind of gravitate towards what would be your lifeline. Um, I feel like you want, you kind of want a new beginning. And maybe you're just down and, down and out about a relationship or about your job and you're just feeling really trapped. And I, you know what I'm thinking is you gotta remove the helmet because you've closed yourself off and I know you think that you're protecting yourself right now, but I feel like you've shut down all your energy. And if you're gonna find the optimism in your life right now and something to strive for, you're gonna have to get out of your own way. So, um, so stop shutting yourself out and start trying to connect with someone, trust someone, whether that's a friend, a family member, a partnership. Um, I need you to start kind of talking about this and releasing because that's what's gonna help you. I see that you're in a, a hard place, but I also see that you've chosen to wear this helmet and to shut yourself out. Um, and you're not gonna heal until you open yourself up. And I know that's hard and it's gonna take courage, but I know you can do this. So that's our helmet people, okay? I know that's a little tough, but I have faith in you. Um, and if I have faith in you, you can definitely have faith in you. I know life isn't easy, but sometimes that's how we grow, is through the challenges. So let's make the best of this year. Okay, then we have our little boy with the baseball bat. So this reading will be for you guys. My glasses keep sliding down my nose here. All right, little boy with baseball bat. And he's an odd little boy. He's got a really big, like, kind of gingerbread head. Um, but he's not a gingerbread man. Like, you don't want to, you don't want to eat him. Okay, so what is blocking you guys in this moment? Um... Okay, so, you know, you're not really moving at the pace you want to be. And I will say you're a little bit in your own way right now. And um, I'm looking at Knight of Coins, and he's got a lot going on in his head. He's moving forward, but it's not at the pace you really want to be. And even here, he's like walked into a wall, so that's no good. Um, so maybe you need to get yourself out of the out of the corner. Um, there's a little bit too about defacing yourself, um, and so you know whether that is if if you're dealing with some kind of cutting right now, or you're picking on yourself at like over tweezing your eyebrows, picking at your pimples until you have infections, 
that kind of thing, I want you to just take a step back. And, you know, we think about the little boy that's a child and he's got to play things. So it's about being playful. I want you to lighten up a little bit. Um, now, what's helpful for you to know in this situation uh, and that you need to be aware of is there's generally, there's conflict going on around you and it has nothing to do with you, but there is conflict all around and everybody's kind of getting into the mood on it. Um, and, and even some of it might be jovial, like, um, you know, not bickering, but teasing and that kind of thing. But we all know that behind teasing, there's actual, there's a point and none of us like the point. And that's why we were like, oh, I'm just teasing. No, you're just being mean. So, um, but know that this situation isn't about you. It's just going on. And so if you can ignore that, that's going to help you to move forward. Um, and you can definitely remove this block yourself. And, um, but what I want you to do is get some family support. And I know that seems really weird, um, but that's coming in that, um, you know, talking to elders or someone that you care about in your family can help you with this. Even if it's a financial situation, I feel like this is one that you're gonna wanna deal with. Um, and then what you can expect once that's done, um, communication is gonna be shifting. And that might be with family, you know, if you need help, maybe they're like, oh, not again. But you know what? Sometimes we do need help and that is what family is for. And that is why, why we have children and um, is to raise them and to be there for them. And it doesn't matter if you're five or 25. Yes, we hope that we've given you enough skills by 25 to function, but you know what? Things happen, that's life. We do need help from each other. So I want you to not shut yourself out if you do ask for help um, or feel that you have somehow failed because you haven't. I want you to keep that communication open and I want you to continue to focus on the direction that feels like it's moving forward and out of the corner. Um, you need to you need to be facing kind of what you want in life and I feel like right now you're facing what you're not quite ready to face your fears you're facing um, nothingness it's like it's like you're you're not taking on any challenges and I think that would help you rather than doing anything that would self-sabotage to just look at the challenge for what it is. And it's like, dang, I gotta get through this homework or I'm gonna have to finish this project. I don't like this project. I don't like these people, but I gotta deal with it. And that's part of this energy. And then you can have fun. And you know, I think about that little boy, he, it's about growing up and being disciplined and taking responsibility for things. So that's where you're at right now. Um, so not all bad, and I hope this helps you. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you again next week.